All right, y'all, this is Willie Bill. Um, I got a review for you today, this evening, um, of this device right here. This thing is called the Fire Lid. Now, I know it's called Fire Lid, but I do not believe this thing actually produces fire. We're going to find out, though. Oh, it's from a company called Seattle Sports. And this thing is supposed to be able to turn your bottle into a light. Let me repeat that. This little thing, little, little cap lid thing, can turn your bottle into a light. And you say, well, good for you, Willie Bill. I got plenty of lights. I don't need a bottle of light. I need a bottle that I can drink from. I turn my bottle into light, I can't drink from it no more. Well, that's not the truth. The idea is with this, it just replaces the lid on your bottle. You can still drink from it just fine, but then you have the extra light source that's already combined with something you're carrying. I don't know, let's see. Uh, it's got some pretty heavy duty packaging here. Let's see if we can't open it. There it goes. Oh shit. I'm dropping everything. Alright, I dropped this little plastic thing. I don't know what that's for. I dropped this wire, which looks like it's a charging cable. Now, one thing I don't think I mentioned is that this thing is supposed to charge with solar energy. So, you shouldn't need a charging cable. This thing has a little solar panel on the top, and it should just charge when you're carrying it around. Now, I'm going to assume this power switch here turns it on, and it does. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, I think it's got different settings. Yep. And that's your fire lid. Uh, so here's a solar panel. Solar panel's exposed. Fire lid. Let's read about it a little bit. Waterproof LED light. Turn your bottle into a multi-purpose lantern. USB and solar charged it is 50 or 100 lumen. Uh, runs 5 to 12 hours depending. Glow in the dark silicone band. Handle the USB cord included. Then it's got a bunch of stuff written in French. I don't know why all these products I'm reviewing lately got French on them. Uh, Again, I don't think we export much, but apparently we export things to France. This is made by Seattle Sports in Seattle, Washington. I don't see where it's actually manufactured. So it might actually be manufactured there. That would be pretty cool. I do have a bottle here. Now, got a nice orange bottle should give us a good indication of how that light works. Now, I didn't take, you know what, let me take my old lid off here. There we go. New lid on. Is this thing really waterproof? Yes. It appears it is. Now, it came with this extra ring. I'm not quite sure what that's for. So, if Seattle Sports uh, catch wind of this review and you can explain to me what that's for uh, I wouldn't mind knowing because it doesn't appear you need it to stop a leak now the way this is supposed to work this will just be on your bottle you go about your business and then when uh, when you need a light you just you just hit the button and it lights up that's a pretty good light nice orange glow I must say I like that quite a bit. Dimmer and blinky. Now, we do survival stuff here on the show, as well as outdoor stuff, all kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, if you were in a situation where you needed help, something like that could be really darn handy. You're stuck up on a mountain, you're freezing, you're just doing everything you can to stay warm. You could took your put your bottle on blink and let it just do that in the hopes that somebody come and find you. If you don't have that situation, 
and you're just huddled up at camp and life is good, and you want a little light in your tent, you can just do that. That's also pretty sweet. Maybe you can read by the firelight. Isn't there a song, something? Heart light, turn on, turn on your heart light. Heart. I don't, I'm not a good singer. I'm not going to sing. Fire lid. Turn on your fire lid. Let it fire lid in your tent at night. So you can read the brochure that came in the box with it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's good. Hey, hey fire lid, you want me to sing your theme song? You let me know. Oh, Willie Bill, get down with you. Ah, I neglected to pull this part out here. I think what that is is a little cat, little ring thing. Ah, shoot, that looks like that's going to go on and not come back off. I'm, I'm going to avoid this for now. Actually, will that screw on? Maybe that screws on. Do 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 do. Yeah, there it goes. It is kind of a screw-on thing. That's cool. Uh, Cause I don't know if I want to keep this on this bottle. But there we go. Got a nice little handle. That's pretty good. And then we got a night light. Waterproof. So Seattle Sports, I like your fire lid. This is quite nice. Uh, this is something I, I feel like I should just carry with my water bottle and uh, gives me one more backup. So uh, that's my review of the fire lid. I like it. And uh, I guess time will tell how well it holds up. And if I actually have to use this, this USB cord, uh, I would prefer to not use it and just let it charge itself. That does it for me. Uh, make sure you leave a comment. Uh, let me know something you'd like to see me review. Uh, Seattle Sports, if you got another product you would like me to review for you, I can do it, put it up on YouTube. Just uh, send it to me. That'd be nice. Uh, definitely do the, the subscribe and like and all that kind of thing and follow me on the uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff as a uh, mental treadmill. But for now, be safe, get outside, bring your firelight with you. Seems to work real nice, and uh, yeah, take care. All right. Turn on your fire lid. Let it shine wherever it goes. Cause Willie Bill sing you a song about the stuff he shows. Do, 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 do. It's getting dark out here, man get attacked by bats soon.